Hello, hello friends, welcome. I am going to start a video tutorial series on Google Earth Engine. This is my first video and uh, in this I will be introducing you with the history of Google Earth Engine and then we will be uh, br briefly introducing with the platform itself. So let us know what is this Google Earth Engine. We have seen, we know and uh, for those who must not be, who are not knowing that there are many platforms for Earth observation. Now, there are many remote sensing platforms and they are increasing day by day. So with this also the increasing the amount of geospatial data and uh, I should use term geospatial big data. So need was there of platform which can perform algorithm development and processing at global level and handle large global geospatial data robustly. So Google developed such platform which was cloud based using cloud based technology Google developed this Google Earth Engine. So viewers, you can do a lot of things on this cloud-based platform, which uh, we know as Google Earth Engine. You can visualize, analyze, combine a multi petabyte of satellite data, rendering you, you with the capability of planetary level analysis. Just think, plan on the planetary scale, you are going to analyze the satellite data. So it is a boon for scientists, researchers, developers, and especially to the student who cannot afford the infrastructure for planetary level, the global level analysis. So many applications from different disciplines is possible on Google Earth Engine. It includes mapping forest cover, then detecting deforestation, classifying land cover, estimation forest biomass and carbon, urban mapping, and uh, to detect the urban expansion, agriculture mapping, and time series analysis, and many more things. This Google Earth Engine uh, it provides with data logs and inbuilt scripts. So let us proceed to the Google Earth Engine. Uh, you can access this platform using any internet browser. Just go and type earthengine.google.com in the address bar or just Google it. Simply and this window you will access. Uh, so here is the video is given and the, these are the options you will be seeing the uh, FAQ is there time lapse data set case studies platform log sign up all that so in the platform just go to the uh, click oh, code editor you can uh, enter this code editor by uh, simply signing up with your Go Google uh, or Gmail account so I am going to sign it So, viewers, a such window will open. Here you will sign up for Earth Engine. Uh, so, fill up this information. I am going to fill in. After filling up and submitting, you will give, get to this window. So, just to click on Keep Exploring. And again, we are back here. So viewers, uh, this web page will open up and this web page, uh, you will see this screen is divided into two parts. Uh, lower half will be showing a map. You can zoom in, zoom out. So, and the upper half will again be divided into three parts. This is the code editor of Google Earth Engine. So. So the middle portion of this code editor, the upper half of the the middle portion of upper half is of the code editor is for writing the scripts, where you will be writing your scripts for the performing analysis of or whatever task you want to perform. So this is your window for in uh, writing the script. So here are the documents concerning those scripts here you will find the inbuilt scripts of Google Earth Engine these are different uh, scripts you can see like this there are the different algorithms for Landsat and all that so you can import uh, the satellite data like 
Landsat and Sentinel and you can perform your analysis. So here are the example scripts we will be dealing in future videos. Assets here you can uh, save and upload your scripts in the assets and this is the inspector you can call any data from this map into this inspector this is used for the inspecting the layers and here console you can print out anything from your uh, script your map to this and the task you will use this is use, using uh, for making graphs videos etc so this google earth engine is very simple we will see in the future videos how we will be using this i will be telling you how to write a different script for different things so for today that's all viewers thank you